This is another book that uh, changed my life. It's called Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. And I bet that there are a lot of people who are hearing this right now and saying, I ah, changed my life too. Um, what Yogananda died actually in 1952. He was born in 1893. So he, he died kind of before it was like hip to be from India and be bringing the wisdom of the East to the West. So that makes him to me, among many other things, a true authentic guru and wise man bringer of wisdom from another culture. But what is really great to me about this book, Autobiography of a Yogi is really the perfect title for it. He makes, he talks about he was born in India and grew up in the whole yogic tradition and his teacher, his, his master, sent him to America, sent him to the West to bring the wisdom of the ancients and the wisdom of the East here to us. But what's, uh, what, what's so great about this book and makes it so accessible is that he, he tells, he describes his journey in a way that you and I can absolutely relate to. It's not like some airy-fairy, crazy thing. Like, for instance, if we were growing up in America and Michael Jordan was our idol and we went to basketball camp and we had adventures in, our, in the JV team and then we were on the varsity and then we went to college and so on and so forth, we could all relate to that as Americans. But if you were born in India in 1893, the same sort of thing went on in the yogic tradition. And your heroes were saints and wise men and sadhus and renunciants. And you would hear like there's a great story in here about the yogi who could be in two places at the same time. And Yogananda describes this thing of seeing him in the mountains, going back and seeing him again. And somehow it was the same time. I don't know how it worked, but that was what it was. But so growing up, the search for God, the inner journey, the inner hero's journey, became his life quest. And his idols were the great swamis and the great yogis, the great sadhus, who had renounced the world and had gone on these inner journeys. And once he had kind of achieved that status, he came here to the West. He actually settled in Los Angeles. And um, in fact, just a couple of days ago, Diana and I, Diana who's behind the camera, we visited with Brother Kivashananda at the headquarters of Self-Realization Fellowship, founded by Yogananda, and he showed us around uh, the Lake Shrine and all the wonderful stuff that they have there. So he, Yogananda, really brought a lot of this wisdom to, to the West before anybody else was bringing it. So in any event, it's a wonderful book, Autobiography of a Yogi. I uh, can't recommend it highly enough. It changed my life.